Hello and welcome, my name is David. Uh, you can find my blog at yojimbosecurity.ninja and uh, you can find this on YouTube at uh, Kensei Musashi. Uh, this is the Master Lock number 570. Um, in one of my previous videos, I demonstrated single pin picking this and I want to know a little bit more about it, so I decided to uh, go ahead and take it apart and uh, let me show you guys how we did that. So there's a retaining pin that I had to drill out. I did a shitty job, so I apologize. But if you pull that pin out, you're able to, uh, to extract what they call the Bible. Now this is an incredibly simple lock. I absolutely love it. If you look in there, there's just that little piece of uh, probably uh, brass. So let's tap it out and see what happens. So it's basically just this, and we have the two ball bearings just sitting there. You might be able to see one of them in there. So that'll sit in there, and you got your two ball bearings that push up against the lock. So that's really all it is. These will set. Cunning tweezers make this easy. And that just kind of sets in there, and you can keep it from locking and opening it up. This gauge, or this side, engages. Here and turns it open, but what we really care about is what they call the Bible here. So again, I kind of did some pre-work. There's another pen retaining it from, uh, so you just can't pull it out. So once you pull this out, you're able to... Uh, Track that out of there and let's see what kind of pins they have in here because on the pack I just said it was max lock or uh, lock pick resistance so I have a feeling they didn't do much anything to secure this lock but I have what we call a, a plug follower or a plug chaser I made this out of uh, 3 8 round stock you can buy these professionally made this one is a half inch that I made out of a bolt. I just cut off the threads and the head. But uh, be professional, go get the real stuff. I'll be doing that eventually. And then also got some pinning tweezers. Let's make life easy on ourselves. So we stick in here and we just push. And there we go. Oops, looks like I had a bit of spring. So you know, I had it upside down. There's where the keys rest on and it looks like we lost a pin already so they do have one security pin and if you look in here it looks like it's from oh i don't know here's another pin this is the first pin we kind of destroyed the spring but that's okay i have some more so the first pin is just a regular standard pin there's nothing special about that at all well actually that was the first pin. This happens to be the second pin. If you look in there, I, I'm missing the second pin. So that's probably that spool pin there. So let's uh, continue pulling this out. Pin number three. This is another uh, spool pin. Which surprises me. I only thought that they had two. Here's pin number four, which is also a spool pin. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like it's it. I thought there was more than that. I'm pretty sure it was a five pin. I must have lost one in the process. But if I did, I'm pretty sure it was another uh, spool pin. So this is the master lock number... Uh, 570. Uh, watch some more. Further, uh, we'll be doing a review on the Abyss uh, 88345 and we'll uh, repin this one. We got a set of uh, pins in, some security pins. We got serrated spool and all sorts of fun stuff. So stay tuned.